Thursday marks one year since a gunman walked into the Natalie building at St. Francis Hospital in South Tulsa and killed four people. I spoke with St. Francis CEO Dr. Cliff Robertson about that day and what it was like to walk the crime scene once Tulsa police left and gave the crime scene back to the hospital. Whether it was a school, a nightclub, or even a neighborhood grocery store, over the years, images from inside mass shooting crime scenes have always leaked out. But when it comes to the St. Francis shooting, only a few have actually seen the crime scene. I was able, and I, I made a point, I wanted to go see it. St. Francis CEO Dr. Cliff Robertson is just a few of the exceptions. You know, not having lived through that, I, I knew that my memory would be uh, different than though than our than our staff and and docs that actually were in the clinic that had to live through that. To understand why he went, other than just his duties as the hospital's chief executive, we have to go back to that sunny yet dark day. I was just getting off a, a conference call. Just like what happened with so many, 4:52 p.m. that day set in motion events that would change everything. Within a couple minutes, maybe I you started to hear sirens, and that was when I. I realized that this is different. Ignoring the lockdown, Robertson rushed to the Natalie building to see if he could help, only to be stopped on the first floor lobby by security staff. One of the memories that's just burned in my brain is looking out the window and just seeing what looked like a hundred <laughs> police cars around the front of the Natalie. And it was just overwhelming the the realization of, of how this the, our first responders, how the community responded. and. It was comforting, uh, it was, um, but it's something I'll never forget. The shooting had stopped, but the tragedy was still unfolding. Being the boss, you know what is where and who works there, especially when that office is your friend's office. Preston was, um, was an amazing man. Dr. Phillips was an amazing man, was, a, was the consummate gentleman. He, he is one of the, was one of those physicians that it didn't matter whether you were you know, you worked in the, the kitchen or you were the CEO, he treated you all the same. Robertson went to offer his help in any way he could, and he tried to make it to the second floor. But being an active crime scene and evacuation still ongoing, he and others would never get upstairs, not until the next morning. For part two of this story and many others, Fox 23 is dedicating a special half hour on Thursday, June 1st, to mark the one year of the St. Francis shooting. In addition to coverage of the day's ceremonies, we will remember the victims and speak with those at the center of the tragedy about how life has been in the year that's followed. Tune in on Thursday when Fox 23 News at 630 airs a special report, St. Francis Strong, Heartache and Hope.